Hello, Virgo. How are you? <laughs> Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing fantastic. Some of y'all always seem so grumpy, like you want to do something, but you never actually do it, you know? Anyway, welcome to your reading for no mid-November to December of this current year. We see when we in the next current year. We're so excited. Right, right. God, everyone's coming with the fucking tower. I swear diddly do, man. It seems like your home's a bit out of order, too. Hmm. That's never good. You know? No, we can't be having that nonsense. Okay. Let us see what the cards say for you, dear sweet Virgo. Yes? Yes. Seven of Wands popped up. Some of you want to get out of that burning wood area. But it came up sideways, so I don't know how you're seeing too clear or not. Start with you then. Fuck it. Two of swords reversed. No whammy. Okay, let's lay the rest out. Oh, there's that tower, but now it's reversed. It has a fear. And then we have the King of Swords, Aquarius Libra. Gemini type. Someone who's not coming out with the honest truth. Maybe even has a bad attitude about everything. Seems like some of you, I'll just say this outright, some of you don't know how to start or how to make a decision when it comes to a ending. Right? The world reverse. Like maybe a cycle isn't completing the way it's supposed to or is at all. Hmm. Like, some of you really want romance, something new. But maybe you're not coming out with the truth about it with that King of Swords, right? Like, you need to make a decision. But, there's been a slow offer with the Knight of Pentacles. Right? Capricorn, you, of course, Virgo, and Taurus. There is an offer, though. Sorry, I had to fix my heater. I have to put it right on my buttocks so I feel warm. We still don't have the gas on yet. Ooh. And below, where this there wasn't a completion or something incorrectly. That is the truth in that situation. That there will be delays when it comes to choosing something. Then we have the Ace of Cups. Someone wants to be getting something romantically or emotionally new. Someone wants a brand new beginning. Maybe even an apology because they feel mentally stuck with the Eight of Swords, right? Mentally played, communications fucky. Uh, they can get out of that situation. They just need to get out on their own. Like, they could just walk around the swords, but they can't see that because they're blindfolded and hoodwinked. Down here, what's going against them in this Two of Cups scenario? Bad news, or maybe no actual travels? Delays in adventure and travel? With the Page of Swords? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. These cards definitely want to talk to you. Someone is definitely restricting themselves in their fears when it comes to this tower moment, this reality they're already delaying. They are restricting themselves from seeing the truth of it because they want a new start, a new beginning, and they just don't know how to go about fighting for it. Okay. 
right? Like, look at all this energy going into it. Like, it's not for show anymore. It's for realsies. And someone is definitely going to get beat to death with, like, a pillow in a pillow fight. If it keeps up. Game theme. Movement. Possibly to or from. Well, it would be from because they're going this way. This a King of Swords of someone who isn't really coming out with the truth. Maybe honesty is the best policy. Let's see the three advice cards. Someone really needs to recoup in this situation and think over things and just relax. They need a break with the Four of Swords, right? Then we got someone still not coming to a decision. Period. When it comes to the scenario with the Eight of Swords plaguing this person wants a new beginning and no real news or travels for with this love interest. And oh look at right here. Here he is again. Not fucking saying shit about how he's avoiding all this stuff and how this new beginning he wants is just causing conflicts upon conflicts. Maybe even inner conflict, but it's not like he's saying any of this shit. It's not like he's actually coming out with it, that it's causing problems. But yeah, someone is definitely not opening up and there's movement away from all of this. Movement away from this king of swords who to this point is still not from the beginning to the very end still not coming out and saying what it is that needs to be said and has a nasty attitude about it virgo so like yeah like you know i think virgo like whatever the situation is you deserve something better, but I still feel like you guys are so worried about losing somebody sometimes. Like, you act so detached and stuff, but, like, a lot of times it's just because you're so scared to, like, admit your own feelings that you don't express them to anyone because you just don't want to have that, like, disappointment, I think, sometimes. Because my mom, like, my mom's a Virgo, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, like, could I, could you just say I love you once in your fucking life? <laughs> but that's my mom. That's how she's always been. But yeah, just, it, I, I, like, I really feel like some of you are just scared to, um, I feel like almost break a commitment. That you already have a good idea about, and you just need a break from all this. Like, I need you to get away from me before the cops get you away from me. Right? Right. But that is yours for the continuation of this month, Virgo. I will see you later. Bye-bye.